The next step, I'm going to be painting the red on the front and back of the engine. This is a Prismacolor Poppy Red. By the way, the stripe, the yellow stripe, was Prismacolor Sunburst Yellow. And basically the way that you start to paint is that you just kind of get going. And as I had mentioned before, if at times I I'm not doing as much discussing. Especially as you paint around numbers and letters. This is why, as I've said several times in your lettering videos, it's good to practice painting letters. That's your free throw practice. Because, as you can see from this, when you spent all this time drawing the engine, and then you go around the 4705 or the CN logo. You don't want to not be in practice. So what I do is I flip the drawing over Where we can get a nice straight line along the frame stripe. And here I'll start the second coat. Like I said, I always do at least two, three coats. Nothing else, kind of, as you go, start doing two coats. As you can kind of see, see as you look at the 4705 there, this is basically kind of a reddish, orange <clears throat> the thing about these prisma color pins which one thing they're not really making them to buy individually so if you at all find them I recommend you Get them if you like them. They're pens I like to use. But um, but the thing that actually took me a while to learn 
and it's not just Prismacolor pens, it's basically any of these alcohol-based pens, is that where it's really important to do certainly two, three coats and get good at painting nice, strong brushes along like where the orange meets the yellow, is that until you really start to do about three coats of it along the of the reddish orange along the yellow it'll feel like it's getting too dark but the truth of the matter is it kind of almost needs to because if it doesn't it dries out and when it does dry out it turns into a very pale color like a almost a i don't know a pinkish peach kind of color so that's where it's good to put three four coats where these two colors meet because that's kind of where it gets so that's the red there and put the red on the back And the one thing to be aware of, I didn't really mention it that much on the front, is there's the white handrail. It's always something to kind of paint around. I'll just use this same pen. Sometimes I use a darker red to go around the fuel filler. And the okay, and so put a little bit. This is where I was saying that separator right here. I just said I noticed it. And so that there's basically the red, reddish orange has been applied. <clears throat> 